your local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. So nice you can see it twice. A double rainbow captured by Eddie over in Salem on a recent day. A really nice photo from him and we really appreciate him for being our picture of the day. If you want to be our picture of the day, share a photo with us uh, via email, social media or the pin it feature on our weather app. Do we see rainbows today? It's certainly possible because of course we have rain in the forecast. Now the rain hasn't popped up just yet, but as we go into the later stages of this morning, the midday and the afternoon, some scattered storms going to be possible as a cold front passes through the region. It looks like we're we're going to be in this scattered category for the chances about 40% and cannot completely rule out the possibility for some severe weather in the eastern half of the viewing area. Here's a look at the threats for any potential storms that do strengthen in that part of uh, southwest and central Virginia. Looks like localized wind damage going to be possible. Also, large hail cannot be completely ruled out. If there are a couple of threats that we can rule out from any of those storms later today, it does not look like isolated tornadoes or localized flooding going to be in the mix uh, later on today. It is a warm up compared to this time yesterday, which is amazing because it felt pretty nice outside yesterday morning. Another nice start to the day with a warm up by about 5 to 10 degrees compared to Wednesday morning. So that's given us generally the 60s right now. 67 in Roanoke and Lynchburg, 66 South Boston and Danville. The only places where it is a little bit cooler right now in the 50s with Phil Hillsville as well as Lewisburg and Hot Springs. This afternoon, I don't believe we are going to be quite as warm as yesterday. Of course, made it to 80 degrees for the first time this season in Roanoke. Our highs today are going to be in the 60s and 70s. Of course, going to be dealing with that chance for some scattered showers and storms as well. So that's our number one weather headline. There is a second front that we need to track as we go into the holiday weekend. That looks like it's going to bring some scattered showers to us as we go into Saturday. And then behind that front, it looks like we're going to eventually see some cooler air as we head into Easter and beyond. So I want to go ahead and give you a look at our future tracker. So this is going to give you a kind of an idea of when we could see those showers and storms for today. So this is around lunchtime. You can see the showers moving from west to east. They continue to do so as we go into the afternoon, and that's when we're going to have the higher chance for severe weather in the eastern portion of the viewing area. So stay up to date with Jeff Hanwich later on today, and he'll let you know if any of those storms do end up coming severe. Eventually, you can see the storms completely gone by the time we go to the evening, and it looks like it will be a chilly start to your Friday. But eventually, I do believe we're going to recover to highs in the 60s and 70s tomorrow afternoon with plenty of sunshine. Scattered shower is going to be possible on Saturday, and then we're dry on Easter Sunday, but it will be a good deal cooler with highs just in the 50s and 60s. Here's a look at the next three days in the New River Valley. Pretty de decent chance of rain today in the Highlands and uh, relatively warm through Saturday for that zone. It looks like uh, one of the warmest regions over the next three days is going to be south side. Tracking some scattered storms, maybe severe weather in the Lynchburg area today, but things going more quiet by Good Friday. Uh, eventually some scattered showers possible on Saturday. Cooler weather for Easter Sunday, and it looks like the chilly stuff will be locked in for early next week in the Roanoke Valley.